Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tara. Okay, so we're here to do the first half of May for Aquarius. I started Aquarius yesterday. Technical difficulties and mild difficulties. Um, so yeah, we're doing it now. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Aquarius, for the first half of May. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope um, everyone is following. Um, the request to stay home and not out and about, okay? Um, if you do have to be out and about, you know, thank you. Um, if you are a first responder, thank you for your service. Okay. Let's get into Aquarius reading, please. For Aquarius. I'm going to do one overall and five clarifying. And it's just going to show like the progression, um, your progression for the first half of May. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, your overall energy is longing. Okay. Saying that you're longing for someone. All right. Or something. But these are kind of love focused okay then you get distant so it's maybe for someone that you aren't around of course because you're longing for them okay conflicted all right so multiple choices not knowing which way to go inconsistency decisions um you get purifying i believe that's a common card from the earth signs yesterday uh heart fog Okay, uh, mixed signals, blocked emotions, clutter. All right, and confusion. All right, so puzzled, unsettled, unclear. So, for the first half of May, Aquarius, you are given the energy, or you may be in the energy of uncertainty. All right, so, um, not only that, but also missing someone. Okay. Um, somebody is not around right behind that we have spiritual connection is someone that you have a deep love for someone is not around there's a distance it can be for any reasons um, but you're conflicted on like how to respond to this how to respond to this um, absence of this person You're thinking of whether you should, like, remove this person from your your life. You know, and so, you know, you have mixed feelings, heart fog, mixed emotions about it. You know, we're going to find out more about what's going on here in this first half of May. But this is definitely someone that you have a spiritual connection with. The spiritual connection was right behind that. Um, and resentment was right behind that. I feel like you're um, upset with someone. Okay. So we're going to dive deeper into that um, energy. Hmm. Sometimes you can kind of tell like when certain cards come out. You know, it kind of changes the whole. changes my mood a little. So. Hmm. I want to see what's going on here. My right, four queries, please. Four queries. These cards are a little sticky, so I'm going to do a pop with these. Clarify longing, please. Clarify longing. Clarify longing, four queries, please. It's morning. The spirit has to wake up. I have to wake up. <laughs> okay. So you get the six of swords and strength card. Having the strength to leave a situation. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You also get the ace of cups and the ten of pentacles. Um. I feel the praise. I feel like this is you longing for someone that has um, left you or you left them. Okay. 
um, and having the strength because it actually came out like this having the strength to embark on new love or to even see if you want to um, because I, I feel like to me this is you walked away from a long term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles here okay someone either walked away from you or you walked away from them and I think you did that to focus on new opportunities in love because you felt like this was the best thing to do. But you're longing for that energy. You are still missing that person. You didn't necessarily want the separation, the Six of Swords, the energy of leaving. You didn't want that to necessarily happen. This is not, you know, the separation wasn't something you were like, yeah, I'm doing this. It was like, it was hurtful. It was, it was, it was something that was heavy. Clarify distance, please. Knight of Pentacles. King of Wands. Four of Wands. Someone walked away. Someone walked away from a commitment to go towards something or someone they were more passionate about. Or someone is taking their time even initiating or coming towards you for a commitment Aquarius it's either that someone was you were in a commitment with someone and they walked away to have a passionate new beginning with someone else or to be passionate with someone else or to go passionately to someone else or this is someone that you're dealing with and they have yet to, like, come towards you for, like, commitment. Like, it's taken forever. Or that King of Pentacles. I mean, that Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify conflicted. Multiple choices, inconsistency, decisions. At the Nine of Swords. The Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So, this whole situation with this person is. It has you in your head. Okay? It's stressing you out here in the first half of May. And it's causing you to protect yourself, causing you to go within, causing you to um, put up barriers and blocks. Okay? You may be having a defensive energy with this person. All right. I want to know why. Let me various reasons. But you're purifying. You're healing. You feel like... I don't feel like... Of course, I don't feel like in this first half of May that you're just going to sit in this energy. Like you're, you're longing for someone, you know, that you either want a commitment with or had a commitment with, a commitment with. Um, but you're conflicted of like how to deal. Yeah, it's the King of Pentacles. It's somebody that you, you feel or you had something stable with or you want to something stable with, okay? Gender doesn't matter. That King of Pentacles could definitely be a woman. Um, clarifying, okay, there it is. And the Nine of Pentacles and the world. So you're like considering, you, you're looking at whether it is best to like heal and just start over. Almost like um, be single. That's the Nine of Pentacles card. Let's start over fresh, like worrying about you, 
um, you know, worrying about yourself, you know, kind of being like the master of your own destiny type thing. Like I got my future and you know, type thing. Like you only focusing on you. That purifying energy that you're gonna have is you like truly considering that. Like starting a whole ending one cycle and starting a brand new cycle single. Like you're longing for this person, but you're conflicted about like whether you should rock with this person or leave. Rock with this person or give up. Because you guys are already in separation or have distance from each other. Even if you're in the same domain, you know. You guys aren't connected. Our fault, please. Mm-hmm. It's a sun. It's a sun. Okay. Heart fog is mixed signals, blocked emotions, and clutter. I feel like whoever your person is, Aquarius, they're not consistent. They they are probably confusing you, and that's what has you in this nine of swords, five of swords energy. They're not making it very clear, like what they want from you, what they want from the connection. Heart fog, please. Get the ace of swords. Is there anything else come out? One more. Okay. <laughs> the moon. The sun and the moon. And here is your gift from the divine, Aquarius. <laughs> here is your gift from the divine. It's like this person in the first half of May... You have this connection with this person. You're trying to figure out like, hey, if I want to stay in this and try to work it out. Or if I want to just, you know, leave it alone and start over be single. Um, this person is not really showing you what they want to do. Okay, they're not really making it clear. Or maybe they're just taking their very merry old time, you know. Um, and it's, 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 it's driving you insane. It's, it's, it's blowing you. It's like it's getting on your nerves. <laughs> You know, with the nine of swords and the five of swords, like, it has you in your head. No one wants to feel that way, okay? But right here, this is your gift from the divine, okay? And this is saying, Aquarius, that, yeah, you're going to may start off May like that. But you're going to, somewhere in May, you know, maybe the middle of those two weeks or whatever, maybe within the first half, okay? Somewhere within the first half. You're going to gain clarity. You're going to gain clarity, get the truth. And everything that you need to feel, to release that heart fall, okay? To feel happiness, okay? To clear up any secrets that you might have, or illusions that might have been out there, you know, in your mind, floating around with that five of swords and in your mind at night, okay? You're going to get that clarity that's going to give you that happiness that, okay, thank you for this, you know? Like, this makes things easier. It tells me how I can move on, okay? Here we have confusion. What's this confusion about? Puzzled, unsettled, unclear. So you might be, you know, confused as to, like, how you should respond to this. Should I give my love or not? With the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're like, yeah, they didn't give me this clarity, and it does clear up some of that heart fog, but should I give my love or not? Clarify confusion. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to be confused as to... Look, and we're going to borrow them. Ten of wands. Whether you should release the burden that this person has put on you. <laughs> and actually go ahead and give love to the situation. Go ahead and trust it. Go ahead and... Um, go, you know what I'm saying? Like, participate. Revisit. Entertain this again. Okay? I think these cards here, the Ten of Cups and the Star and the Queen of Cups, yeah, you should, okay? You should entertain it, okay? So whoever you are connected to, it started off so rocky, Aquarius. I was concerned, okay? 
but it turned around and it's actually really good like you might start off may feeling a little defeated you know like confused um, missing someone longing for someone's attention and affection or understanding and love and connection um that they're just not giving you either um knowingly or without knowing okay that they're not giving you the attention and stuff that you want need love answers okay but it turns around it turns around where you get that truth and clarity where you get that understanding of like what this is okay because you have that feeling that it is a spiritual connection and i definitely think it is okay i definitely feel like it is this is a spiritual connection so let's get you a romance angel aquarius i was concerned at first now i'm not okay first half of may is going to be pretty good for you all right um might just know I would just say, like, speak your truth. Communication is always good. You know, just talk. Talk it out. Okay, let's see what the uh, Romance Angels got to say. Four queries, please. Uh, true love. On the card, it turned over. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. Okay? Yeah. You, saw, you felt that spiritual connection. The card spiritual connection is there. You felt it. Okay, you know, this is a spiritual connection between you and this person and you're right. Okay, so don't feel, you know, no way to understand that in the first couple of weeks of May, you, you know, they're going to end right. Okay, that if you are feeling in that nine of swords, five of swords energy, this reading is to remind you um, that communication is key. Okay, get out of that energy, talk to your person. Get you will get get that clarity. Okay, I feel like they want to tell you. I feel like they want to make it clear. Okay, all right. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped, and I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Um, follow me on Instagram, Nisi Girl underscore Tarot, and um, like, comment, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if this resonated and um, if anything you would like for me to change. Okay, all right. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you real soon. Miss you guys already. Bye-bye.